is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Split Mind channel. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this R&B beat from scratch. It has like a dark R&B feel to it. It's super vibey. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how I made it. I used Nico's MIDI pack for the melody. I'm gonna break down what I did with that and then show you guys how you can use it in your own beats. You can get Nico's MIDI kit from the first link in the description. But yeah, this is what the beat sounds like. Shout out to Nico for sending me this MIDI pack and let's get into it. So I set my BPM to 117 and I wanted some chords. So I grabbed this Piano V2 plugin and these are the chords that I used. So basically to get these, I went to Nico's MIDI pack, and G sharp minor, best chords. So it has a bunch of different genres in here, awesome fire ideas. The R&B chords are super dope, but I actually found these in the dark hip hop and trap folder. So Nico's MIDI kit is broken down by scales. And then when you open a folder, it has a bunch of melodies in all of these different genres, has chord progressions in all of the genres, has more melodies organized by BPM. And then finally it has a bonuses folder where there's some arps, chords, and rhythms. This pack is crazy. It's really good just for getting a certain vibe quick, especially since it's organized by genre. But yeah, it's super fire. Definitely helped me make this melody. I mean, bro, hold on. Let me just show you. Let me just show you some of these chord progressions. I'm gonna go to F minor. So that's the dark hip hop trap folder. You go to the emotional folder. Then go to the R and B folder. just instant vibes every time so many vibes in this midi pack definitely recommend it for getting your melodies down quick all right super fire i'm just gonna get into this breakdown this is the midi that i dragged in right here it was originally in g sharp minor i took this last chord and then i stretched it to the ninth bar and then i selected the first two chords i held shift and then I just dragged this to make it come in a little bit earlier and then i did the same on these two chords these two chords after that i did alt s to strum alt r to randomize the velocities and then i pitched it up three semitones and yeah that's the midi right there so this is what the piano sounds like So to get that R&B sound, these are the effects I put on. I grabbed a Bandpass Nero and Pro-Q3, and I only let these frequencies pass through. Next, I added this clean and subtle preset from Sketch Cassette, and I brought the hiss down some. After that, I added a little Alter Boy, and I literally just changed the format like 0.3, and then I brought the drive up some, and then I brought the mix to like 45%. Next, I added this preset from Phaser Tan from D16, and I brought the mix down. And then finally, I added this preset from Centaurus. So the next sound I grabbed was this Rhodes one shot, and all I did is I brought this knob up and then I changed the mode to stretch. So yeah, I just brought the same exact chords over and this is what the road sounds like. So for effects on the roads, I added this bandpass narrow EQ into this reverb intensity. Next, I added the sketch cassette and then finally this effect rack. So this next sound is in Analog Lab. It's from my antimatter bank. You can also find a link to this bank in the description. But yeah, I used this retro lo-fi synth preset and I basically just copied the chords and I did my own strum and voicing with it. And I just wanted to make it sound kind of cool. And then in the second half, I just inverted some of the notes to get the same chords, but have a slightly different sound to it. But yeah, this is what the key sounds like.
So I'm not gonna break down all the effects because there's a lot, but you can see what I added. This is actually a mixer preset that I have. If you guys want me to drop a mixer preset kit, just let me know. I have a bunch that I use in all of my loops. They're just my go-to effect chains. So next I wanted to add like a really high pitched sound. So I added this texture. And I have that repeating at the end of the eight bars as well. All I have on there is this reverb and then this EQ. So next I added this vocal and it just plays on the four and the eight bar. And this is what it sounds like. So for effects on the vocal, I have this auto tune going into a little altar boy where I'm just bringing the format down. Next, I have this bandpass narrow and then this plate reverb. This chain is really simple, but it's so fire. So I wanted to switch it up in the next eight bars. So I added another analog lab and I grabbed this preset from my antimatter bank. So I went to the best melodies folder and I think I went to the R&B folder this time and I grabbed some random melody in here. There's so many cool ideas in this kit. You just have to go through a bunch to find what works for your own beat. But yeah, so I added one that I liked and then I decided to move around the notes a little bit so i think i took out a run that was right here and then i just left these notes in and then there was a variation so i put that in the second half of the melody and this is what the melody sounds like So yeah, putting this melody right after these other chords that I did added a call and response to the melody and I thought it sounded really cool. Craziest part about this is that I was able to cook this loop up in like 20 minutes. Those midis that I use from Nico's pack are crazy. Like they really helped me get the idea down quick. It usually takes me a while to make midis and chord progressions and everything, but just to be able to find the chord progression that gives you the feel that you're trying to go for in your head, like immediately, it's a great tool to make melodies fast. So next I added this only one perk loop and I just chopped up the perk loop to make it sound how I wanted. The perk loop is actually 160 BPM, but I didn't even and stretch it i just chopped it to make it sound cool i also added this texture underneath and i'll play the perk loop and the texture together So on the perk loop and the texture, I just have these bandpass narrow EQs just to take out the frequencies that I didn't want. And that just makes it sound vintage, but also keeps it out of the way of the rest of the things in the mix. So yeah, those are all the sounds in the melody. I'm gonna play what the whole thing sounds like. <laughs> to clean up i'm just gonna cut this high pitch texture just that way it doesn't bleed into the next part i'm gonna do the same with the vocal So all I did right here is I chopped the last bar. I made it unique, reversed it, stretched it to like a bar and then messed with some of these just to make it sound cool at the end. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna break down the drums. The drums are pretty simple. So most of these drums are from Only Ones kits. And yeah, this is what the bass sounds like. I just followed the bass line, but I added a couple of runs in here, just staying within the scale, only playing scale notes. Right here, I did this kind of like double thing. It sounded cool. I think this is a minor second of the B chord. When you're doing these kind of runs, it sounds cool if you play the notes that are in the next chord, like leading up to it, just because it kind of gets the listener ready for it. Right here, I pitched that up an octave, and then I did this slide to get from the F sharp to the E instead of just playing the E. I did like this like flam or something right there. I don't really know what to call it. And then I did another slide note coming from the B5 down to the b4 right here and then instead of staying on the b i brought these last two notes up to the d just to let the listener know that the progression's ending and it's going back into the one so next i added a kick to complement it it's 
just a super simple pattern doubling up the kicks. Next, I added this rim. Next, I added this snare that hits on the second rim. I also tuned this one to match the key of the beat. That's important if your percussion has any sort of pitch, make sure you're tuning it. Next, I added this hi-hat pattern. It's just a simple two-step with some rolls throughout it. Next, I added this open hat that hits twice. And then finally, I added these four perks. These were also hitting on a note, so I tuned them to the key of the beat. I'm gonna play it with the snare and the hi-hat, just that way you can get context for how they're bouncing. So yeah, that's the whole beat right there. Like I said, this didn't take me long at all. It took me like 35 minutes to make this entire thing from scratch. Nico's MIDI kit really helped me get my ideas down quick. I was able to find a chord progression that worked with the idea that I had in my head. Then he also has a bunch of fire counter melodies in there that match the vibe of the chords. It's all you need to make a fire melody. Once again, shout out to Nico for sending me this MIDI pack. Super fire. It's going to be at the first link in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram at NoahCuz and subscribe to Splitmind. I'm going to let this beat play out at the end. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.